Bella Thorne poses in Playboy. Justin Bieber is moving to London. And Little Nick makes fun of Zayn and walks out of an interview. All that and more on today's Rundown. A little bit of a different show today. Things are getting really messy and weird <laughs> later on. I love things getting weird, but first we've got to talk about Kendall Jenner telling all. All right, Erin, so Kendall Jenner, she yes. sat down with W Magazine and she spilled the details on just about everything. First of all, she said that she actually hated her name, you know, Kendall, until she came to the conclusion that it was unique and became okay with it at the age of 16. She also became obsessed with the models at the age of 10. She said her favorite was Giselle. Did you have a fave? Uh, a favorite model? Yeah. Like, um, I don't know, someone who was on the Burger King sign who was <laughs> holding the cheeseburger. I was like, yes, I want to be that girl. All right, well, believe it or not, she actually had a rough time kicking off her modeling career. She said it was slow when she started off, saying when she first moved to New York, she spent her time running to a million test shoots in the middle of nowhere at sh apartments. Kendall got her first big break meeting with Marc Jacobs and Katie Grant to be considered for his runway show in 2014. She said, I was so nervous I didn't think anyone would like me. It's so nerve-wracking in front of all those cool people and you go back a couple of times and they need to see if they really like you. Well, it's safe to say she got the job and she she's earned been it. working ever since. And speaking of runways, she said she was really excited to have her tits out in a show. What? I'm weird, I love my tits being out. It's like one of my things, I guess. I'm young. Yes, when I'm older, good. I wanna be able to look at it and be like, I looked good. I get that. <laughs> I can't say that there are photos of myself naked just what? for that same reason that one day when I'm old and saggy and wrinkly that I can prove to my, oh, maybe not my children, that's really dark. Yeah. I prove to myself that I once had it all tight. Well, right after this show, you know, I'm Googling Aaron Robinson news. It's not on the internet. <laughs> well, where is it? It's printed in a book somewhere. I'm gonna find it, leak it for all of you to enjoy. But Kendall, she also said that her and her sister are mini bosses and they're set to take over the world, which I agree with. Very confident. Uh, she also said that her first kiss was actually in a shower. Ooh. And I thought that was steamy like you did, oh, kind wow. of. But then she actually revealed that it was just in a game of truth or dare, and her and all of the people that were playing the game went into a bathroom, and then when the two people got dared to kiss each other, they would actually go in the shower so nobody could see, and that was her first kiss. Uh, she said her current girl crush is Angelina Jolie, mm. and her 12-year-old crush was none other than Justin Bieber. <gasps> uh, yeah, what? Which is weird because they're friends now. Yeah, they are friends. Which makes me feel like if I were Kendall Jenner and I was friends with Justin Bieber, I'd be like, listen, can I just hook up with you? For my inner 12 year old. I self. think he's gotten around that family. You know, he's hooked up with Courtney. We I think, think he's probably gotten inside Kendall. Kylie. Kylie Did for you just sure. Say gotten inside of her. I just cannot with that comment. I'm sorry. Okay, that moving moving along. Uh, one of her special talents is that she can put her thumb behind her hand. Can you do that? Uh, like that? No, she no. actually like bends it behind. Oh, that hurts. Don't do that. Okay, and then I'm going to leave you with this last talent. Uh, she can actually make bird noises. Well, to no one's surprise, Bella Thorne knows how to grab Tyler Posey and people's attention <laughs> when it comes to her antics. And you guys, she actually is going to be featured in the new Playboy magazine what? spread. It's available October 25th. It's the November issue. She's part of this whole no filter spread where they highlight actresses and musicians who are just taking over Hollywood, which she totally is. I don't know if you guys remember, but last October, Playboy made the announcement that they're no longer gonna be featuring nude people in mm -hmm. their magazine. It's gonna be more of a classy magazine. And these photos of Bella are are super classy. She looks great. There is some skin, there's enough sex appeal, but honestly, I've seen much more naked of much more other celebrities in other magazines. So this is super classy. This is her little nod to David Bowie, which I totally get. It looks yeah. so, so cool. Well, uh, that's not all everyone's talking about about Bella Thorne today, because yesterday she posted a photo, I think also a video on Snapchat, of her modeling not something that looks like David Bowie, but something that looks like Tyler Posey. Oh She's my wearing gosh. his underwear, you guys. She looks so freaking hot. Her abs are ridiculous. Like, I have a hard time admitting to myself that they're real. <laughs> that girl goes to a Pilates class every day of the She's week. She's 
beautiful. She really works for it though. You know what I mean? Like she's not, she's naturally pretty, but I love people who are like, yeah, I work out, I'm fit. And she totally looks fit in this photo, but I don't know. This is kind of weird to me. Like wearing someone else's underwear. Have you ever done that? Uh, I don't know if I've ever done that, but were they boxer briefs or yeah. were they like baggy boxers? No, they're boxer briefs. They're kind of tight actually, which makes me wonder, like I never realized Tyler Posey was so little down there. Oh, uh, no, I, no, I he meant, like, he have a small waist. small waistline. Yeah. She's also a little girl too, so he can be a man. I don't know why I did that signal with a, my hand. This took a dark uh, turn this episode. But I think it was probably for the photo. I don't know if she's hanging around relaxing, but you said you would never wear your husband's underwear. No, I barely like wearing my own. Why would I wear his? All right, I'm just sad she didn't get her tits out for the boys in Playboy. <laughs> Say it ain't so, Justin Bieber is moving to London. Oh my gosh, his LA neighbors are so <laughs> happy right now. Are you gonna miss him? No! I already miss him. So Justin Bieber has just rented out a mansion on London's most expensive street, dubbed the Billionaire's Row. The Biebs is dropping $130,000 a month what? to live in this $30 million mansion. So he didn't buy it, but he's renting it out uh, for more than most people make a year. What? He's spending that in a month. So get this, this house has 15 bedrooms to play in, along with a tennis court, indoor and outdoor pools, 13 bathrooms, a home theater, wine cellar, and a five car garage. All I'm saying is what in the world do you do with 13 bathrooms? Uh, you christen them. <laughs> if you're Justin Bieber with all the Instagram models. All right, well, the mansion <laughs> is owned by a sugar tycoon billionaire. I thought you were gonna <laughs> say a sugar daddy. No, <laughs> that would be funny say, though. He's just like I'll pipping out. <laughs> Justin's like, send me some of the girls. Uh, a real estate partner at Night Frank explained to the Daily Mail saying, this is one of the capital's most luxurious homes. Roads such as this continue to hold massive appeal amongst the rich and the famous. And this is one of the only few areas in London to offer large properties with huge secluded gardens and the house offers complete privacy. So I'm gonna cut this house out and put it on my vision board. Yeah. I feel like maybe that's a 2017 goal. But then you have to move to London. Which isn't terrible. You have to give up your whole life to move to London, Erin. You, you're missing the point that I have to afford the house. Okay, let's make that much money and put this house in LA okay. on our vision board. Also, over the weekend, Justin was spotted hanging out with soccer star Mizut Ozil. I hope mm, I'm saying that right. great. Uh, so they went to his birthday party at Tate Nightclub in London, and Justin and him also spent time together outside of the club. He gave Justin a tour of his soccer training grounds and even kicked the ball around with some of his teammates. So he just lives a life. Lives He's his so best life. jealous. I guess when you're that rich and that famous, you get to do whatever you want. All right, guys, Little Mix actually walk out of an interview after being asked an ex question, right. which is really strange because their new song, shout out to my ex, you really quite the man. <laughs> uh, you'd love this song, right? It's so, yeah, so good. They debuted it on X Factor. They slayed. I love this song. But they walked out of an interview when their song is about that. I feel like that's wrong. Let me just break it down for you before you get your panties in a moist wad. They wide. already yeah. are. Okay. Very moist Here, wad, Erin. <laughs> Here are the details. So during an interview with Capital FM's Roman Camp, things got really awkward when he in fact asked the girls about their exes, asking, quote, if you write a song like this, do you have to speak to all exes, clear that song with them? And here's what happened. Inappropriate, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't mean it like that. Um, right, and then, uh... Oh, just, just do it about me, because I've got... Oh, oh, f It's Peter. Well, I think she's having a bad day. So awkward. Oh. Uh, all right, guys, but I have to fill you in on a very important component of this. That was a prank. What? It was totally a prank. The girls were in on it. So um, Capital DJ Marvin Humes was playing a prank on Roman, um, and they definitely got him by the look on his face. So, so good. It is so funny. Got you, too. It did get me, but I do have to know, do you have to get your songs cleared if you're writing about an ex? Like, does Taylor Swift have to go clear her music? Are you kidding me? Hail to the no. <laughs> All right, girl. <laughs> but speaking of exes and little mix, on the group Snapchat, Jade was doing this little dance. It was really silly, and it got a lot of directioners thinking that the girls were taking a jab at Zayn. Jade, do your audition. <laughs> Notably, 
Basically, Zayn's boot camp auditions back in the day on X Factor were a little bit awkward. They were awkward and he knew they were awkward. Yeah, he said it. He was vocal about yeah. it. Yeah. I just feel like an idiot on the stage, shot a dance with all the people that are clearly better than me and I just feel like an idiot, I'm not doing it. But do you think that, I mean, the, the choreography is pretty close. Do you think that they're trying to make fun of him? Uh, I don't know. I would like to say no. Well, I mean, let's be real. They have a song about their exes that just came out this week. I'm yeah. sure it's great publicity. I think they're doing it on purpose, but I don't blame them. If someone cheated on me like that in front of the whole world. He also broke up with her via text message when they were in a very her. serious relationship. So live dance, your life. Dance your life away. Okay, guys, so we have a brand new show coming on Clever Ow. TV. It's so <laughs> effing weird. Ryland's queen may or may not have made an appearance. So Into Lily's mouth. Out. It was crazy. It's uh, airing on Friday yeah. on Clever TV. So to promote that, we're going to give you a little teaser, a little taste. Is this so every speak. Friday? Every Friday. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I hope your ween is comfortable <laughs> with his airtime because it will make several appearances. <laughs> um, so what? to prepare everyone today. No. Uh, our producer Lauren is uh, has put together this little pop culture trivia quiz for us here. Rylan and I are gonna pull pop culture questions out of this clever mug and answer them. And whoever wins, whoever gets the most right, um, gets their freedom. And whoever <laughs> loses has to stick their face in this. I'll let you go first, Rylan. How okay, about that? I'm shaking in my boots, Aaron. <laughs> All right. What is Pokemon Go's catchphrase? Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all, or gotta catch them all. Who made this game? I don't, I don't think you read them all properly. Gotta, oh. <laughs> I did it. Gotta get them all, gotta catch them all, gotta go catch them all, gotta go eat them all. I wasn't into this Pokemon craze, obviously, <laughs> so I'm gonna say gotta get them all. You read all of the right <laughs> answers before you just got it wrong. Wait, wait, are you, so it's you're not It's gotta guessing? catch them all. Okay, here's mine. Which of these ladies did not make a cameo in Beyonce's Lemonade? Well, I have, <laughs> I have to make a confession. I have not seen it all the way through. What? I've only seen parts of it. And you've commentated the whole thing? I, you're a fake. No, I know some of it. Okay, I'm gonna guess though. Hopefully I'll get it right. So the options are Solange, uh, Zendaya, Quavenzene Wallace, and Amanda Stenberg. That's right. And Amanda Stenberg. Um, um, do you know the answer to this one? Quavenzene Wallace? No, I know she was in there for sure. Um, did not make a cameo. I'm gonna say Solange, because I just feel like she had her own visual album, and so she probably wouldn't want to make Be overshadowed by her sister. Right? Am I right? Correct. Yeah. Woo-hoo, I got it right! All right, dig it into the jar. What do we have here? <clears throat> At what show did Kanye West announce that he'd be running for president? The Grammys, the Billboard Music Awards, the VMAs, or the Country Music Awards. I think it's safe to say that it's not the Country Music Awards, because what would he do there? Yeah. I guess he had that song with Paul McCartney. What? Four, four five seconds with Rihanna. Uh, yeah, but I don't know if Paul McCartney is a country artist. Okay, sorry. Uh, I think it's the Grammy, because that's like the epitome of music. Right. Is that right? <laughs> All right, which celebrity was seen on a boat in 2016 with her naked boyfriend? Oh, I know this one. What? But I'm gonna read the options for fun. Taylor Swift, she was seen on a rock, but they weren't naked. Uh, Lady Gaga, Oh, may she and her, what's his name? Oh, Taylor Kinney. Ka that's right, Taylor R. I. Kinney. R.I.P. May they rest in peace. Miley Cyrus or Katy Perry? Of course, it's Katy Perry, right? Yeah. Woo! Oh, with Orlando Bloomy. In his bloom. Who showed his bloom. Yeah. Moving on along. You gotta catch up to me. What's Zane's sign? I don't even know Zane's last name. <laughs> Malik. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know who he's dating. This is not fair. It, I don't know. I, only know I don't even know your sign and I'm with you every day of my life. Just, I mean, I don't know. Just All right, guess, Aquarius, right? Scorpio, Aries, Capricorn. Scorpios are very sexual. And Aries yeah. are very stubborn. Capricorns are very also stubborn. Aquariuses are moody or something. Well, he's moody and stubborn, so he's all of the above. I'm gonna say Capricorn. Yeah, I actually think that might be right. Is that right? No! Woo! The one that I have no idea I get right. Okay, how many days did it take for Taylor Swift to be spotted with Tom Hiddleston? 
post Calvin Harris breakup. <laughs> I mean, technically, wasn't she cheating on him? Well, she met at the Met Ball. Met while Met Gala yeah. while she was still dating. Yeah, you get it. Okay, so I'm gonna say the options are 10, 7, 15, and 20. I'm gonna say seven. That's some real detective work. Whoever knows the answer to that. What is it? Oh, it's 15. Oh, that's a lot longer she, yeah, than half I a thought. Month. She, what? She wasted some time. Two weeks? I think that's fair game to date someone new. I'm surprised she doesn't have a new boyfriend right now. I guess nobody wants to take her after Kim exposed her. <laughs> so if I get this right, it's a tie? Yeah, we have a tiebreaker, but what if you get it wrong? Then if you get it wrong, then you're gonna tie today. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, who's one of the rumored collaborators on Taylor Swift's album? Uh, Katy Perry, Tim McGraw, Kesha, or Zendaya? Um, I'm gonna say Katy Perry because Katy tweeted saying, oh, if Taylor says sorry, oh. I'll collaborate with her. <gasps> oh, that, that, no, Kesha. Yeah, I kind of knew that. I felt bad for you. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh. Rylan! Oh. You win for it. I didn't mean to go that hard. It's in your nose and it's coming out. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, well, if that's not enough to get you to watch our new show, that got weird on Friday. I don't know what it is. Never heard, but I feel like you might have heard that before. You guys, thank you so much for watching our show. Let us know what you think about Bella Thorne and Playboy in the comments section. And also, please watch our show on Friday. It gets weirder than this, if you can believe it. Um, and Ryland is in tight pants. So. Well, there's whipped cream dropping in my face, so I don't know how much longer we can stay here. <laughs> but I'm really excited to watch this show. It's so much fun to be on. You have to watch, watch it. it yeah. We're going to be here on the Dura every single day. We love Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Want to see something savage? You better click to the left to get a sneak peek at our brand new show, That Got Weird. Or click right to see Beyonce get injured, start bleeding, and keep performing like the queen she is.